Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to use this amazingly powerful tool in Excel which is the slicer. Alright, it is used with pivot tables and it helps you in analyzing your data very visually. Alright, say for example this is a slicer that is in action. I'll tell you how to create it but let me show you how it works. Say for example I want to just select what all happened in USA so this is what happened in USA these, these were the sales I can uncheck this look up like this oh let me find out what happened in Bombay so here is what happened in Bombay okay let me show you how it was done see here is the data I'm using it has the dates the products name these are the name of cars these are the countries in which they are sold plus the respective cities in these countries these are the total sales figures and these are the monthly breakups so I create a pivot table by selecting the table and pressing alt and V and when I press enter a pivot table like this gets created let's create another one so we can also create a pivot table by going to insert choose pivot table click OK we have our pivot table and we choose our category names what all we want to have here say we want country we want product names and we want sales figures all right this is how we work usually in a pivot table now let me tell you how the slicer helps over here this is how we usually see in a regular pivot table but what happens when we insert a slicer well you can say select a product name a country a city all right click on ok and your three slicer tables are open now I can align them like this I can give them colors Okay, so let's give a color to it also. Here we are. So this is how we give a color. Now, whichever slicer is on, you'll see that this section gets highlighted. You can clear the filter like this. And now you want, you can now visually drill down on data, see what happened in US, clear this data, see what happened in Atlanta, Volvo was sold, this was the total amount so on and so forth this is an amazing tool you can also learn how to use the slicer further you can change the names over here see this is showing as product name you can have any name of your own choice <laughs> excuse me you can have your slicer settings over here ascending descending order plus to delete a slicer you have to go to remove product name all right so i hope you like this video until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead you can also download this file from myelesson.org for free take care